Hello and welcome to 580 Merton Street, right across from Pottery Playground with a splash pad and swings and sandbox and everything kids enjoy. And there's also a speed bump here, just in case you're concerned about speed. Merton has speed bumps all the way up and down it. There's a stop sign there as well. And you're looking at Bayview down there. We're going to do an exterior buyer's tour, which is a little more detailed, takes a while. So if that's not what you're into, then please pass on this. So I'm going to start with the exterior. Um, and we're going to do an interior tour as well. Sorry, this is a complete tour. It's going to take a while. So the buyers or the sellers chose to put in this uh, parkable um, patio stones here with some ivy. That's already worked really well for our move in and out of some stuff. Uh, so the ivy is really durable. And uh, all of this pathway is new that takes you um, up these fun elongated stairs with long treads up to the front door, which is a fiberglass, beautiful, bright blue front door and more about the porch in a second but you'll see that there is storage nice clean storage under here accessed under there there's also um, a hose bib under there so you can water this lawn there's some really nice features uh, there's malbec wood siding up there of course all new windows it is a rainy day so excuse it it's a little dark um, they have a schlag um, uh, smart door lock there's all sorts of neat things there's a receptacle you'll see up there which is switched inside the house. That's for seasonal lights, like your Christmas lights. This is a beautiful tongue and groove, clear cedar roof ceiling with recessed pot lights. We've got GFI power in here. Look at this brick, it's in perfect shape. It's really nice, all the siding's been redone. This house is a full gut. So, and it's also been, um, it's the basement's also been um, benched and raised. So the ceiling height's quite high. And you'll see that uh, there's uh, active waterproofing going on. That's for the AC unit. You're probably wondering what this baby is. That is for the mother of all motherhoods for the 36 inch uh, KitchenAid fan that we got in there. So this, uh, this is pretty much incomplete because they kind of ran out of time and, and uh, space, but this, this could be redone um, at, at your leisure. Right now it causes no harm, but it is in the inspection report as being incomplete. Um, as we go around to the back of the house, we still have this nice uh, shiplap kind of Malbec um, back facade. And we have a nice awning with some aluminum uh, raised seam, which gives you some nice protection when you're barbecuing right there. There is a gas bib right there. Again, we've got the seasonal uh, receptacle right there, which is switched just inside. And we also have a lot of storage. It's under there. It's quite clean. I've just thrown the hose under. Uh, so the hose is a little messy, but you'll see that it's all well done. There's no wood soil contact. Um, this window would um, pass as an awning as a uh, for an apartment, but there's no separate entrance um, But it would be a good area for a separate entrance if you ch so choose chose and then we got this big new deck with another storage uh, Egress point here. You're gonna see that there's great flow between the uh, the living space all the way through to the backyard and we've got some nice gardens here We've got a lot of space, so there's uh, so they just put in this lovely parking pad and or um, uh, stone deck. Um, so you could park your car. This is a mutual drive, okay? So they park their car up to here, and you could easily come in here, and uh, and you can see how my car would fit quite easily, and uh, you would you could park uh, right along here. Um, the front the front is not legal parking, so if I hope I didn't imply that. Then we have just this enormous stretch of grass uh, which has so much potential for um, so many things and a, a, an aluminum garden shed at the back and we've got some other containers and stuff back there. So this is kind of this has just been done as a, a lovely lush sod for now um, but you could put play equipment on there, pool, whatever you want. It's pretty straightforward stuff. The grade and everything all works away from the house. That's what we like to see and you've got this wonderful thick canopy here. Actually the canopy all around here is pretty amazing. There's a few evergreens. It's a really beautiful, kind of diverse uh, number of trees. I'm gonna rip around back to the back and get back to you. Here's another hose bib. Don't know if I pointed that out. Okay, we're gonna come into the front door now. As you can see, we have this really wide front deck that's covered in great shape. And it overlooks directly the park, which we really love. Beautiful blue fiberglass door with the Schlag smart key, less lock. And then, oh, look how we're granted. Hello, lovely. Hello, so that's a penny tile arrangement that they did that we just love. You got lots of room over here for a big cabinet for a closet. You could also do a bench and other things along here, depending on how large you want your dining room to be. So let's step inside this lovely semi-detached three bedroom, four bathroom home. So the first thing that I like to show you is this 
great dining room, full-size dining room. This is all um, solid walnut flooring. I'll show you a sample of that so you can see how thick it is. The light fixture is only included if you offer appropriate amounts of money because they love it. You know how it is. So we've got lots of room over here to put um, closetry or built-ins. You also have room to put it here. You're going to see a lot of rough-ins and notes and stuff like that, little wires sticking out. It's not that it's unfinished. They just didn't make a decision on their security. So that's your panel. And then you've got little, little ones here and there. So that's going to be your security. We talked about the switch. We talked about the switch for the uh, holiday lights. When we walk in, we also kind of see straight up. And even though it's a rainy day, you're getting a ton of natural light coming through from two skylights, which we will show you in a bit. But first, let's look at this kitchen. It's huge. It's a, it's a beautiful color, not too bold, but it just makes a bit of a statement saying, no, you are not vanilla. You are a little different, raising above the mediocre. But most importantly, this kitchen is built to be so large because these people cook and they love a lot of space for all their equipment and everything. So there is a lot of fantastic space in this home. Now, let's, can, am I allowed to talk about this hood right now? I don't even have the light on for it. Shame on me. So that's, that's the switch for it, and this is the speed. And so this is really uh, almost identical to a commercial one without fire suppression. It's got its motor, as we talked about, mounted to the outside of the house, so it is quieter. And so I'm gonna turn it on now. Now, I've done it where I've taken toilet paper and held it here, and it sucks it up from here. And I just don't have any toilet paper. We've made funny little roses out of it all, and I can't even take a piece of it. But that's pretty quiet, right? That's on a quiet mode, but we can crank it up. That was actually in the middle when I had it first, and this is really cranked up. Gives you lots of height. So if you're a tall cook, you're covered, but it's installed per the specs. And it's over this beautiful 36 inch all gas, six burner KitchenAid range, which I just love. Just goige, just goige. We've got this tile backsplash. We've got under cabinet lighting, task lighting. Of course, this is so large that you can fit an island down the middle, and this isn't a kind of an ideal size island. This is the stager's island right now, um, so not included. We have integrated a uh, lovely sharp microwave and another kind of uh, work area here with task lighting, and you've got bottle storage. More pantry storage, full size, 36 inch wide fridge, counter depth, ice and water. Another KitchenAid product, just beautiful. We've got this kind of track lighting that doesn't look like track lighting. It's kind of, it's great looking, but it's really essential in a kitchen of this size. And we keep moving along. We're gonna have our garbage and waste storage in here. And we've got lots of drawers, again, more storage. And then we've got these great exposed shelves with the, what do we call it again? I forgot the raw edge, um, but I love this. This is a great little, there's lots of like little vignettes in this house and this is one of them. This is a nice little picture. So the open shelving allows you to add a little decor, soften the place up. And then this is the two drawer, Fisher Paykel. I have one of these. This is uh, the newer one where they've revised a lot of the uh, issues and it is a fantastic dishwasher. You may ask why you have two drawers. I'll answer it some other time, but it's amazing when you've got a family. They're always going in and out, it's fantastic. Big, deep um, ceramic uh, sink. <laughs> this is kind of one of these industrial, there's a whole bunch of names for all the stuff. I'm terrible, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with all the names, but this is uh, one of those industrial ones. But you know, everything's a really high quality. You can kind of just tell from the feel of everything. We've got soap, and uh, this is a, a rough-in for um, filtered water. They, they didn't go about doing it, but the, you can add filtered water down below if you wish. Again, more drawers here, more storage, a great peninsula that sticks out and is kind of terminated by this natural light and window, and also has these great pendant lights hanging over it, creating a, a nice differentiation between these two spaces. And you can put your stools here. And you can also put your small appliances under here. Big, deep storage, small appliances. Again, all the windows also have little rough-ins for security systems. 
a lot of the plugs and receptacles, one in the dining room, they're all over the place, have USB and you, what is that, USB-C or USC? I don't know. Um, and then there's also rough-ins for Cat 5E all over the place. So when you see these caps, that's for that. And we're heading into the living space, but let's have a quick look at this kitchen from this perspective. Stairs down, and there's a powder room back here. We'll get to that. And so then we swing into this kind of rustic tile, um, wood burning, real wood burning fireplace with wood storage underneath and a nice bench. It's floor to ceiling, really stunning. And then an eight foot by eight foot walkout, nice and clean lines, but you still have your privacy. This is a Pell, I believe, and it is pretty phenomenal. So we have this, let me just, oh no, that's that switch. Hang on, let me make sure I get this right. There's a uh, screen that's here, and then this switch, which I'm gonna move up, and as I move it up, we take the blind down. Okay, so I'm just gonna move it up again. And we've seen the backyard, and we've got lots and lots of room. This, as you can see, the house has been added onto. That's the end of the old house. So this house is significantly larger than other houses in the neighborhood. So we've got this great kind of traditional living space that kind of goes both ways, you know? Lots of space. I like this light fixture too. Okay, let's do my favorite part. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I was gonna show you. Quick sneak at. See, there's no line, so you can see that's solid walnut, okay? So that's how we can tell if we have solid wood flooring or laminate or vinyl or anything like that. You look at the profile of it at a register, easy to do. Again, this was all done to code, so we have, the house is very comfortable, we've got fresh air returns and We've got HRVs and all sorts of things. Oh, check this out. Dun, dun, dun. And if you know me, I hate starting sentences like that. You know this bathroom is, was done just for me, with me in mind. I love it. Fans on timers, all the fans are on timers. Look at this wallpaper. Great tile, stone floor, hex stone flooring. These six, one, two, three, four panel doors, solid. And then um, both the stairwells are extra wide and they also have extra long treads. So they're very comfortable and safe. Nice little long handle, handrail. And we walk into this room. So this room was actually used by the previous owner as a workshop. So he had a sink behind here, which we've kind of hidden with a curtain. Very sneaky, yeah, you'd never see it. You'd never find it. Um, but there's a lot you could do with that. This could be, we didn't want, you know, we could have easily uh, put a wall here and made it into a bedroom. So it could be your plus one bedroom, which would be great because you'd have a bathroom right there, which we'll get to in a sec. Um, and it's roughed in for a sink. So it could also be like, um, if you've got kids and everything, I, I just think it's a great studio, like an art studio for the kids to play in. And you've got a, a slop sink right there. And so we kind of left it open like this, but um, he was also working down here as well. That's his desk. And we got lots of space under the stairs. And you could, do, you could put uh, a desk there, but you can also see that it's benched here. And both sides of the original house are going to be benched, okay? So sometimes when you're planning furniture and stuff like that, um, it's good to work around those. And there's, there's amazing things that people do with custom furniture to make the best use of these spaces. Let's look at this beautiful washroom, which is, by the way, missing the glass, because some of this was just finished for the sale. And so the glass will go in as per Schedule B um, prior to closing. Okay. It is on order. It is actually available now, but we don't want people installing glass. It's got the shower head. It's got the handheld. Uh, the mirror is excluded. The vanity isn't. <laughs> it's got the rainstone. Lots of storage in that cubby. Really fun. You could leave it without the glass if you had a dog, but you know, and let's look at my favorite part. And this is why this is a buyer's tour and not just a sales pitch because we get into some of the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, what we have here is the on-demand system for water. So that's your domestic hot water, which is gas controlled. And uh, it's, you know, all, all of this stuff is a couple of years old and it is uh, owned. So as opposed to a rental, we're also gonna see all of this cat, this uh, cat 
5e e stuff coming in here to make a panel a termination point so it's all ready to go right here so you could put a bix panel right here and you'd have your communication hub uh, down here and so again you can see the benching but this is a very clean room it's got a floor drain it's got ceramic tile it's got a sump pump and power for a battery backup if you want to have battery backup. And behind here, we have the backflow valve in there, okay? And we have the uh, water line, the main water supply, which is copper, with this fantastic 200 amp panel. Lots of space on it. So that's really awesome. And then again, a way you know it's a modern renovation done by permits is there's this HRV. You can kind of hear it going now. And that's basically, it's drawing fresh air from outside and it's either heating or cooling it before it is brought into the system to equalize it more um, to whatever the outdoor temperature is so that you're not wasting too much energy. It's an energy saving device. So you're not wasting too much energy, you know, um, taking cold air in the, in the uh, winter and then just heating cold outdoor air. So here we are into the rec room, which is quite a large room. So we're gonna be benched here but we're not gonna be benched over where the addition is, okay? We've got that large window we were referring to. And just like upstairs, which I don't know if I mentioned, there are surround sound rough-ins as well here and here, okay? Security rough-ins in the corner and security, all of basement and main floor have security, there's security wires in the windows. So although this is not really a dangerous area for, for that kind of thing, uh, that's why they never did anything about it. It was recommended by the builder. So we have more Cat 6 rough-ins, rough-ins. This is where you could put all your TV and all that kind of stuff so that you can run your wires through all these conduits that are pre-installed, um, okay? Um, you know, pot lights. This is, so this is, this is our drop point, even though we have dropped the ceiling. This is a little lower uh, at the, so I'm six foot. So it's, it's a little lower. I'll be honest, right there, okay? And that comes, those ducts come around here. They, they do have nice radial corners, so you're not gonna kill yourself, but you would definitely know if you hit one, if you're me. Luckily, they're kind of all off to one side and not in the traffic area. So as you see, we have one window there, we had uh, two windows, one, one right here, and then the big one over there. And did we have one in the utility room? I don't think so, but let's check. No, we don't. But you can see we have all our gas. Everything's nicely organized. I've turned off the gas to the barbecue, for example. This is a trickle uh, humidifier. Pretty straightforward on any new furnace. Nothing too fancy there. Okay, shall we run upstairs? I think I've covered everything. Oh, the flooring is a vinyl flooring uh, with an underpad on freshly poured concrete. So, um, so we have no kind of moisture or comfort issues there. Uh, okay. Hello, lovely. Now we go up these stairs. Again, it's kind of dark outside, but look how bright all this is. And so we have this really contemporary look. And once all, if all the doors are closed, it's so wonderfully architectural with all the lines. I might even do it for you. We have these great big walnut um, treads. And a nice walnut hand matching handle. Lots of room here for a piece of furniture, for example. We talked about it air and return air. Those are the big return airs brought up pretty high. Let's save that one. Let's start over here. So I could just give you another look at this. So we've got the two skylights, not one, but two skylights bringing in a lot of light. Okay. The middle bedroom, again, four panel solid doors, nice big windows, big double closet. This room's kind of fun. We've used Aiden's bed and we've got lots of room for furniture. You know how us Realtors like to sparse it up a little bit, but you could put lots more furniture in this place. Look at this big bare wall over there. But uh, we like to make it look vacuous, you know? And all the closets do have all the details, all the finishings, shelves, rods, and all of the above, closers, etc. So you're going to find that we have the solid uh, walnut in the hallway, and then each of the bedrooms themselves goes to a wide plank laminate walnut. And then this is the family bathroom, which is really fantastic. So it's got this great tile floor. It's got double sinks here. It's got this kind of breakaway rustic tile. Now, you can see that these are like, it's kind of a chip to the ceramic finish and it's all throughout there. Really fun design. It's a glass panel here, cubby, which is very useful. This is a six foot long tub, huge. 
shower head and handheld. And you know, I don't recommend, you can easily put glass doors here, but if you've got kids, you know, keep it open because then you can pull them in and out easily and all that kind of stuff. It's got this great fountain um, faucet, waterfall faucet, lighting, all the fans in the house. Listen. You hear that? Yeah, neither do I. That's the fan. They're ultra quiet fans, okay? Toto toilets, double sink, tons of storage, everything you need. Mirrors, vanity lighting. Big family bath. Another big deep closet here. And then this bedroom's really fun color. They had their kind of their bed going that way, so the room was huge, but we've done it this way. Put some furniture in it. Comes with a feathered light fixture. Also, as you can see on either, like this, this is a dormer, so you've got this, these great roof lines, but you also have these fun exposed um, rafters here and here and a little loft space. Don't recommend the kids climb in there, but it's great for storage or putting stuffies. If you have kids, you know the war we have with stuffies. So just put all the stuffies up there, make them earn them. That's what I say. So you got this sloop, sloped roof here. It's really nice, full closet. Again, organizers in there. Fantastic, there's a good view of the playground. Oh, we're getting a little sun. Yay. All right, big window. We're almost finished. I know it's been 20 minutes. I appreciate you sticking with me. And now we're into the um, primary bedroom, which has pocket doors on either side, right? And one leads to laundry, which is right here. Steam, fantastic LG steam, like full-size steam machines. There's a drain in there and a curb, which is what you want. It's all per code lighting. This washroom is really fantastic. It's got this skylight in it, so, so light just pours into this area as the afternoon, because the afternoon light is gonna be coming more this way so it kind of pours and cascades all the way into this hallway as well which it is kind of doing a little bit but uh it's really fantastic um and in the morning it's all in the shower and it's bouncing around gently in this frosted uh glass i just love it um so we have a big bench we have that same river stone that they love so much we have a, a cubby and we have a handheld and a rain shower and we have the toilet parked gingerly in there, another Toto, another super quiet fan. Sometimes isn't advantageous if you're making noise in here, but let's not get into the details. Okay, under the mirror. And then the bedroom, really the best feature of the bedroom is this window. The, the, you just feel like you're in a tree. So it could easily fit a, uh, a king size bed, but this is a queen size platform bed. Again, return air, every, every uh, bedroom a per code has uh, smoke and carbon monoxide detection. Good size closet in here, a little bit bigger than the double. Yeah, so we are pretty much concluding. Everything is new, so it's a new new house. If you're wondering what the age of the windows are, the age of this or that, it's all you know between 2019 and about a week ago. Okay, so I'm glad you joined me. I'm going to end on this lovely tree shot. And remember, it's Trevor Bond with Bosley Real Estate, and you can reach out to us directly at trevor at trevorbond.ca if you have more questions about this great listing at 580 Merton Avenue. Thanks again.